just a quick video. Um, this is the uh, installation of a Optimate uh, charging lead into the Royal Enfield Gorilla 450. Just uh, allow me to keep the battery topped up. So we'll do really an easy install, but I'll show you how to do it for anybody who just needs a little bit of guidance. So, first job is to just whip the seat off. removed and then we can have a quick look here at the battery terminals positive terminal negative terminal that's, oops, that's fell off a couple of times so that just needs sorting out shortly so negative positive first job is to remove the negative followed by the positive so we'll get that done next so right disconnection negative first so I'm going to remove these with a Fuzzy dry screwdriver, they're not tight at all. Very, that won't be an issue when doing it with a with a fuzzy screwdriver. That's the negative removed. I'll just push it out of the way so it doesn't. And go back onto the battery whilst you're working on it. So just try and push it down out of the way, and then just remove the positive again. Easily removal with a screwdriver, and just remove the screw, and the cable comes away. We'll then unpack the uh, Optimate lead. With this one, it's a fuse lead, integral fuse. And you can have your choice of your green or your black cover. Where I think I'm going to put it is here. And just to show you, I think I'm going to put it so that it sits here. And then that will sit in there. Out of the way when it's not in use. I think that will sit in there quite nicely. You can see that there. I think that will be just nice in there. So we'll look at putting it there. Bring that up through there, that should hopefully, with a little bit of a squeeze, fit through. What I'll do is take the fuse out, just try and reduce its size just a little bit while I put it in. That's it, tight fit. So I'm going to run that through there, positive up through there. Just squeeze that through. And that should go in there. Just lovely, I think. Come on. There he is. Come on, there you come. There we go. And that's come through there just nice. Tighten that off in there in a minute. And then what this allows me to do. We'll put the fuse back in. There we go, fuse back in. 
close that up and that will sit just lovely in there but we'll tidy those up in a minute first job let's get them connected up so you're really probably going to want ideally is that there that may or may not go through there I think it will a bit of a squeeze get hold of it and just try and push it through there we go let's pull that through there Turn that round onto there. Put the nut through. So the pillar. And then get it onto the battery pillar. And what you need to do here, if you won't be able to see. get a small screwdriver and just push that out to get the nut on to get the bolt in I should say and grab the screwdriver and there it goes I'll show you that in a second before I uh, finish it off so that's what I've done if you can see that pull that through put it on top of that and then what I'm going to do is just push that down and then I'm going to tighten that up as the next job and I'll do that with me yeah Don't over tighten these, just pinch them up, that's pinched up, that's it, that's all it needs, that's that terminal done, and we'll do the same to the negative, right, and now we'll get the negative back on, which is this one here, a similar to how I did that, we'll get hold of this, We'll bring the negative, here he is. What we might just need to do is so what I want to do with this one, same as that one. I'm gonna bring that up. In fact, I made this slightly differently. Yeah. We'll do this slightly differently because it's a different... It's a different fit. So that goes on like that. The nut goes through there. Through there, 
through the log. And into the battery terminal. And then tighten it up. Turn the spanner. Up onto there, roughly thirty degrees. So put that in there. That's in there. Tightened in. See that bent round there. And there's that there bent there. Tighten them both up. And then we'll just tidy up the wire. I want that to hold in there perfectly. And that's there. And that can pretty much stay there. Tucked away nicely. A bit. Chop that down inside there, I think. Chop it in there out of the way. There you go. Now you can tuck that back. Bring that back over there. Out of the way. There we go. Almost there. And that's it. That's the job done. So I've got positive on, the negative on. Here's where the little lead's going to sit and live. Tucked in there really nicely out of the way. What I'm just going to do a little bit of grease on the terminals and we'll be good to go so what I'm just going to do here is just put a little smidgen of grease onto the battery terminal and that just gives you a bit of Corrosion protection, really. Some put it on, some don't. I like to put it on, it doesn't do any harm. It gives you that bit of, as I say, bit of corrosion protection. And then pull that down, there you go. And then same here, just give it a smearing around. And then get that pulled up and onto the terminal. The shroud's on. And we're all good, and there you have it. So, back in a second. There we go, and as I say, there he is. Just took, just took lovely under the seat out of the way there. You'll never know it's there unless you're looking for it. Let's flip it out. Plug the Optimate lead in, there we go. It's plugged in. Nice and tight. There he is. And uh, where is it? The optimizer kicked into life. And we 
and uh, giving that battery a check over and that's it folks installation of a Optimate charging lead onto a Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 piece of cake one of the easiest ones I've done I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.